Good morning fellas, the Nintendo GameCube, the most powerful console of its generation. And what type of Zelda game did Nintendo put on the high-end system? A f***ing CHILD GAME?! The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker was released for the Nintendo GameCube in 2002 in Japan and in 2003 in all other regions. The review scores were very good, but fans of the Zelda series were mixed. Today we're gonna dive into the development and the game itself of course. Let's go back, all the way to Space World in the year 2000. This is when Nintendo first showed a Legend of Zelda GameCube game. They knew it was a tech demo, but fans had a lot of faith in the new Legend of Zelda game. This is what a new game could look like, and this was the game they were getting. The art style isn't what many people were expecting. The tech demo at Space World 2000 is what many thought was the natural evolution from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. But the game went for a cel shaded look, a kinda cartoony style. People wanted a more mature game in the series, and not a cartoony kid game. They eventually got that with The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Miyamoto also didn't like the visual style of the game. Before Miyamoto even saw the game, The Legend of Zelda producer Eiji Aonuma also thought that Miyamoto won't like the style. I quote, Miyamoto literally cringed of the art style and asked for the team for a redesign. But the excitement of the Wind Waker team and the constant push for the game to be in that art style eventually worked. But the cel shaded cartoony art style arose from someone in the Wind Waker team making a design for Toon Link. And they stuck with it. Through the whole development of the Wind Waker, Miyamoto wanted to redesign. The team even gave a presentation against his will. And Miyamoto said at the end of the presentation, you can still change the art style. People were mixed about the game, and some even called it Zelda with a C because of its cel shaded art style. The Wind Waker's reputation improved greatly over time. And nowadays, many folks are out there who prefer the Wind Waker over a game like Twilight Princess. The game is an open world game, but it's not what you think. You sail on the Great Sea, and there are on the map 49 gridded sections with each one containing one or a few islands. A large part of the time you will be sailing the sea. And you do that with this boat, the King of Red Lions. There are large parts of ocean between every island and that's done so that the GameCube could run the game smoothly. In the Wii U version they didn't have to deal with that kind of hardware limitations anymore. Plus they added the quality of life improvement to the game, the Swift Sail. This shortens the travel time between the islands, which is great. However, sailing the Great Sea isn't a problem. The plot in the game is very different from all the other Zelda games. This time you don't save Zelda, but you save your little sister Ariel. In your quest to find your sister, you also meet Princess Zelda at a given moment. And she is reincarnated as someone named Tetra. I won't spoil the rest of the game for you, but I think many of you would like it. Another cool thing about the game that it takes place above Hyrule. After the events in the Ocarina of Time timeline, after the Great Flood, the Great Sea arose. The Lorgos, the people who were living in Hyrule, went to the mountaintops and built a society on top of them. The Wind Waker didn't age bad at all. If you compare it for example to Twilight Princess, it's clear as day which one aged better. The Wind Waker also contains many side quests. I'm not really a side quest guy, but I will say it adds a lot of content for players who want to 100% the game or players who just want to finish a few of them. What I like about the islands is they all feel very connected, but also distinct enough. Every time you go on an island it feels like its little own world and dungeon. Overall I really like The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Only sailing for very long times can be a bit annoying, but I think the game is timeless. I do prefer the GameCube visuals over the HD Wii U version because it looks a bit too blurry for my liking. I have a feeling about the original GameCube release, it, it just looks more authentic or something. But that can be just me. I do hope that there will be a Switch port of the game in the future because it's a really good game and a blast to play through. 
That's what I, Ron, had to say about The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and if you have any suggestions about the topic or for a future episode on my channel, please leave a comment. And then there's only one thing left to say. Good night, fellas. <laughs>